Hey, what's up, YouTube? Wombaticus here, and let's talk about the Felwinter's Lie, guys. This is a pretty awesome shotgun, and I'm going to go into a little bit of detail on why it's so good. And um, talk about a few other things. But before we get started, guys, be sure to hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. Drop a comment. And if you aren't already, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. It's going to help me grow, and it helps me get my videos out to more people so thank you guys so much for watching let's get into it so here we go guys fell winter's lie the shotgun is not very hard to get honestly it's a pretty decent little quest doesn't take too long not that big of a grind it's well worth it so um i apologize i originally recorded this on my headset with my mic with my xbox mic and it did not record my voice when I uh, uploaded the video and saved it to my phone. So I am doing a voiceover again. Um, bear with me a little bit. But yeah, we're going to jump in here in a moment um, into the details of the Fell Winter's Lie and why it is so nice. To me, it is honestly a god roll shotgun. Right there you got um, the intrinsic trait, which is shot package. Um, I'm sorry, I can't really read it, guys. Aggressive frame, shotgun, modified to have more uniform. Um, yeah, my recording is kind of blocking it, so I can't really read it, guys. But basically, it is a aggressive shotgun with a more consistent pellet spread, and that's going to be very important um, as to why the shotgun is so nice. Um, it automatically comes with full choke. Titan barrel reduces projectile spread when aiming down sights at the cost of precision damage. So a little less head damage, but more um, less spread. Accurized rounds, that's going to increase the range and also tighten your pellet spread a little bit. Uh, you got slide shot and quick draw. I prefer slide shot because you're going to get the temporary boost to range and accuracy. Then um, you also got Vorpal weapon, so you can shut down supers. And, um, one moment, guys. Sorry, this, uh, the match started, so I went ahead and took me off the screen. But as we go back into here, um, so you got opening shot. Increased accuracy and range on the opening shot of an attack. So, when you combine opening shot with a slide shot, this weapon has great range. It will drop people from pretty far away in one hit. So yeah, it's a very nice shotgun. If you guys are looking um, for a god roll shotgun for like trials or even just comp, and um, you're having no luck, like for me guys, I've been really grinding trying to get a god roll dust rock blues. Um, so I've been farming for that and I have not been able to get one. I did get one that was pretty nice. It had uh, it has full choke and accurized rounds, so it does have that a little extra range, but um, it does not have rampage or slide shot or um, any of those other perks that I would prefer on a god roll shotgun. So, I mean, this shotgun is very great, guys. Fell Winter's Lie. It's worth. A quick little short grind for it because honestly guys it really is a god roll shotgun i believe uh since they nerfed shotguns and went ahead and increased the pellet spread and things like that i believe that's why they went ahead and made this shotgun um because you know they don't want to go back and you know fix the pellet spread and buff the shotguns back to what they were so they decided, hey, we will give everyone who wants to do a short little quest, we will give them all a shotgun that is not affected by this nerf. So um, you can find other videos, guys, on YouTube that will um, tell you how to get the Felliner's Lie. It's pretty simple. Uh, you talk to Anna, I think, on Mars. Um, then you have to get, I believe, 500 shotgun kills, which that's pretty easy if you do some PvE. Uh, I did it without even really trying. I I remember, uh, I think I was just farming for the Dust Rock Blues, actually. 
And um, next thing I know, I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to go for fell winners because, you know, I, I could use a de an extra shotgun. And I can't get the goggle dust rock blue. So even though it is an energy shotgun, I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's, uh, let's go get it. And uh, next thing I know, I had like 90% of my shotgun kills. And I was like, wow, you know, I'm already there pretty much. So not too bad of a quest, guys. Well worth it. And the shotgun is an automatic god roll shotgun. Doesn't take a lot of effort. Uh, you know, after after uh, freaking grinding for the Not Forgotten and Luna's How, I was like, you know, wow, this is a this is a pretty freaking nice weapon for a lot less of a lot less time and a lot less energy put into getting it so it's well worth it guys definitely grab this shotgun and i apologize real quick for uh all this spare rations i um as i was using the shotgun i was not having a very good time so i was trying to switch to this and uh not get co not get completely whooped but um anyway guys get this shotgun it's nice it's easy it is one of the i believe it's actually second ranked right now in pvp for usage so as you guys can see it is a very good shotgun it's a very good weapon so it is not time wasted to go get it that's for sure but um anyway guys i do have another idea for a weekly video that i might try to start making um, if you're interested in this, please leave a comment or uh, drop like a thumbs up or something to let me know. So basically what my idea is, is that um, after, after, you know, looking on YouTube every week, you don't see Destiny 2 videos that just talk about um, like this week's top 5 or this week's top 10 PvP weapons or maybe this week's top 10 Trials of Osiris weapons things like that so i know it's pretty simple you can go to just destinytracker.com um you know you can search for popular weapons you can find what you're looking for and you can see the top five top ten on there but i figured you know maybe it's a cool idea for me to just make a weekly video because you know sometimes you don't really feel like doing that going to destiny tracker typing it in looking for it Maybe it would be, you know, a little simpler, a little nicer just to hop on YouTube, type in, you know, top five PvP weapons or, you know, this week, May 30th, um, top 10 Trials of Osiris weapons or something like that. And, you know, that's my idea to, you know, give you guys the top five, the top 10 current weapons every week. That way it's easier for everyone to kind of stay up to date on what weapons are kicking butt and maybe i'll even throw in like a uh, like a lone wolf like a random like uh this weapon cracked the top 20 but you know two weeks ago it was at like uh, 77 you know so maybe something like that guys just a little idea for a new weekly video so i can get you guys some more content um so yeah if you guys like that idea please drop a thumbs up and, or a you know just drop a comment uh and let me know that uh and uh yeah just let me know if you guys think that's a cool idea and i will go ahead and start doing those weekly videos so that's pretty much going to wrap up this video guys and um right here at the end i have a little funky video i made um i was actually on tangled shore and i went into i can't remember what it's called but it's that little room where they got some like funky cool music playing and um yeah it's kind of funny i was like uh, i was just screwing around kind of dancing to it so um i'm gonna put that right at the end of this video guys hope you enjoy it thanks again for watching please drop a like and hit that subscribe button if you aren't already it helps me out a lot guys it's gonna help me reach more people and get my videos out there thanks again and we'll see you in the next one